Now, this story, release our leaders or else, that's the warning from angry Deep Slope residents who accuse government of trying to silence their protests. Tensions remain high in the area after three of their leaders were arrested during the protest last week. The case against the trio was postponed to Wednesday after the state said it would oppose bail. Now, at the same time, residents say they remain disappointed that the president has not yet visited the area. There was an undertaking a few weeks ago at the union buildings when the community leaders arrived there from the presidency that they would look into that, including an engagement with four cabinet ministers. Our reporter, Mangoba Mkono, is on the ground in Dipslot. He's been spending some time there today, and he's spoken to a number of residents, people who've been affected by what's been happening in Dipslot. Mangoba, first up, what's the situation like today there, and what are you hearing? What did you find out? Well, but then the situation has uh, relatively calmed down uh, compared to what we saw last week when uh, residents had intensified their protests. Of course, you recall, but then this is a call that was made by the community leaders uh, on Monday uh, when the three leaders that uh, were appearing at the Rentberg Magistrates Court uh, had been uh, essentially, uh, their case had been postponed. Uh, to Wednesday, the community members were not happy. In fact, they indicated that they want uh, to return to the streets up until their leaders have been released. But uh, there was a call that was made by uh, one of the community leaders, Reverend uh, Tukwane Dituk, and after consulting with some of the community members that uh, perhaps they should hold off the protest to allow the court processes to continue uh, and saying that, uh, you know, they will await then uh, the decision of the court on Wednesday uh, to hear what happens uh, to their leaders, whether they will be released on bail. We recall that um, the reason why uh, that particular case was postponed is because the state asked for a postponement, indicating that it uh, intends to oppose bail in this particular matter, but also uh, it had to verify addresses of these suspects and also to compile a profile of these three suspects. That's the reason why it asked for this postponement. Initially, it it asked for a week to do this, but uh, the magistrate uh, uh, saying that this could take uh, these uh, two days, uh, perhaps, for them to complete this. And uh, the community members were quite adamant, but then saying that they believe that uh, this is uh, politically motivated and that this is just an attempt by government to silence their protests. So they wanted to go back to the streets, but uh, the leaders had, uh, in fact, asked them not uh, to go back to the streets. We understand that there have been additional charges that have been added, which include uh, damage to infrastructure as well as uh, malicious damage to private property. And the callers that they don't want uh, those uh, community members to return to the streets because this could ultimately affect uh, these proceedings that are going on in court. We do know, but then, that there is a community meeting that is happening this afternoon. Uh, the leaders are talking about plans uh, to mobilize uh, residents to go to court tomorrow where the three leaders will be appearing tomorrow. But uh, they're saying, Bratan, that this is not the end of their fight for crime uh, to end in their community. Earlier on, I spoke to one of the community leaders, and this is what he had to say. Just is suspended because of uh, our leadership. But if our leadership is coming out, then we will take it from then. But what we are going to say, we are not going to stop to what, what we are doing. We are still going to fight against the crime because of it's us who's died. It's us who, who, who face that problem. The, the president, they've got uh, guards. The police, uh, police minister, they've got uh, protection. So we, as a community of Deep Salute, we don't have a prote uh, a prote a pr a protection. What happens then if your leaders are not released tomorrow? Sorry? What happens then if your leaders are not released tomorrow? Ah, uh, we will uh, take it from then. We will talk as a leadership what uh, way forward. Uh, that's a community leader, Mangoba, you spoke to earlier, one of those community leaders. Uh, but you also spoke to some residents. What did they tell you?
Well, but then uh, what I can tell you is that, uh, you know, residents are quite uh, upset, of course, at the fact that uh, their leaders have been arrested. And uh, the fact that the president up until now has not come to the area. In fact, uh, earlier on, I spoke to some residents who were saying that it doesn't seem like government is taking seriously the issue of crime in Deep Sloot. Uh, the fact that up until now, uh, the there has been no commitment from the office of the president to come to this community. Uh, speaks volumes uh, for community members who are saying that uh, government doesn't seem uh, to be taking this issue seriously. In fact, uh, the victims of crime are also saying, but then that they feel that they've been let down by government. Uh, I spoke to one of the families that uh, we spoke to uh, a few weeks ago, the Mahato family. Uh, which was attacked on June 16, uh, the holiday, uh, where eight robbers had gone into their house. Uh, they demanded uh, 8,000 rand uh, from uh, the 47-year-old lady, uh, Patricia Mahato, who works as a loan shark in that community. And in that incident, her son, her 15-year-old son, uh, was shot. He's still in ICU, in hospital, fighting for his life. And for them, uh, what has happened really at, uh, you know, the area, the arrest of the leaders has left her very vulnerable, she says, because these were leaders that would come and respond uh, to crime, that would respond to cries for help by the community that are helping this particular community as far as fighting uh, the issue of crime is concerned. But they're also equally quite disappointed and upset that uh, the president has not come to the area to address uh, the residents' uh, issues. And earlier on, I spoke to Patricia uh, just about how they are feeling, and this is what Patricia has to say. <laughs> And the low name won't be a little less a good matter will live for Ukumagala Ruay Basa Honor Vanche will live for our governor Bartusan. Eh, born number to Barbara Bolayan, Maravanova Hono Kumana de Bail, Baro Hobata Gadi Trunia Gaini, Preston Terna Irin, Cavagala Grova Jacobona, Riarat, Arukovana Majamanta Rogam Rafagan. A deep slow resident. Ending that update from Mangoba Mkunu about uh, the day that was today.